Russ Keys Crypto Cave here. Um, what do you think of the new intro? I'm just tinkering around with it a little bit. Uh, that's version one. Uh, I have some other ideas I gotta play with, but I gotta learn some more about DaVinci Resolve first. Uh, but anyway, Noctua fan came in. This is the 5 volt USB fan for the uh, KS0s. It's the same one I'm running on the, the first one. And then I ordered two power supplies. Didn't realize I did have one, so I have an extra in case one goes bad. Uh, it's a 180 watt laptop Asus power supply. Pull out of plastic here and see what we got. A little tricky to do with one hand. ADP 180MB, whatever, 19.5 volts, 9.23 amps, 180 watts. And this will do the trick and we'll be have plenty of headroom um, to run the KS0 at the 160 giga hash. Uh, so I'm going to go out in the shed and uh, hook this up, and then we'll be right back. Alrighty, here's the first KS0 that I uh, did the firmware upgrade to. I had the Noctua fan on it already, and that is the power supply that I had laying around the house. And here's the same Noctua fan to put on. Pretty much the same one, except for it doesn't say Asus on it, so that should work perfectly fine. So I'm going to get the other one off the shelf here, which is right here, on plugger. A little tricky to do with one hand. And I'm going to get this out and get the stuff installed, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, we got that back installed. And as you can see, the Noctua fan might be kind of hard to see. I have the arrow pointing up, so I have it sucking the air from the base of this device up and just blowing it up that way. So I leave those fans in the bottom, suck air from the bottom and blow it up through. So I'm just going to use, use that to help assist to pull air out of the, the hot air out of the device. As you can see, the light's blinking already. Uh, I'll have to go in and hop on the laptop and see what we got going. Alrighty, here we are in the dashboard of the one I just restarted. As you can see, it says running time about 16 minutes or so. So I gave it some time so it would populate in the uh, dashboard because it does take five to 10 minutes or so for it to do that. Uh, so we're gonna go, just in the meantime, I did download um, the 160 giga hash file. Um, I'll leave a link to this GitHub in the um, description. So basically you need the files update 160 just click this little download raw file icon and just download it since I already have it I'm not going to do it again and they have the instructions right here update by the web movie if you ever update the firmware of any ASIC it's pretty much the same thing uh, so we are going to go in here we are going to go into firmware upgrade uh, the, the first step though before we do any of this actually there's multiple first steps but the first one is make sure you upgrade your power supply which is what i just did uh, because if you do it on the, the power supply that came with the unit you're just going to burn up start a fire and have an overall bad time um, so get an upgraded power supply 150 to 180 at least because uh, it does pull about 110 to 115 as far as wattage goes um, so you do want to have some headroom um, so I would suggest doing at least a 150 or 180. I went with 180 myself, which I'll leave the link in the descriptions below. Um, you can do multiple ones out there, a bunch of Asus laptops, power supplies will work. And then the second step is you do have to have the most up-to-date um, Ice River firmware, which I'll link that in the description below as well. You can get that directly from Ice River's website, which will be done just the same way we're doing this. So we're gonna go to select file. Uh, go to downloads and some stuff I was working on for video editing update 160 click open don't worry about that fake pack path nonsense I'm not sure what that's all about but it's been doing that all the time and then click update and it's going to give us a prompt like operation successful hopefully give it a little bit tick tock tick tock tick tock usually doesn't take too long for it to do this i don't remember exactly how long my other one did but there it is operation succeeded click ok 
confirm restarting my machine. Yes, you want to click OK. Operation succeeded. So while that is rebooting, I'll hop over to my other one. Uh, this is the one that's already running the firmware. Uh, I did this one yesterday, I guess it was. Um, 30 minute hash rate 159, 5 minute 161. Been running for a day, 4 hours and 19 minutes. Here's the nice thing. No rejected shares either. I had rejected shares um, when it was just running in a normal mode. At the, the 100 gig hash, I was having anywhere from 0.3 to 0.8 rejected share rate. Uh, so that's interesting to see and good to see actually. So go to the dashboard of my other one that's been running for about 24 hours already. Well, 28 hours, I guess. Um, 24 hour hash rate, 157. Um, average daily coins for, is at 77.36. Now, if we look at this other one, 48. Um, now, there's a little dip in the end there. That is from uh, obviously me just unplugging it and resetting it and whatnot. So, uh, but that's all. Oh, that's what 20, 29 coins more per day. So, that is a substantial increase. Now. It's not going to last forever just because as everybody more and more and more people do this the network hash is going to increase and everybody's rewards are going to go down but uh, but it is it was nice to see that uh, firmware come out and about two weeks ago three weeks ago i did hear read somewhere about 130 giga hash something was getting out of one but i didn't really dive too far into it i just did a quick google search and didn't really come up with much so i figured that once something comes out will come out and just like this came out and pretty much exploded so, and everybody's doing it so we're gonna hop back over here this is not gonna be enough time to, to do it yep still says abnormal it was back online for 55 seconds and let's see if that firmware on the bottom Looks like it's the same. Can't see much of a difference there. Let's the refresh. See if we're getting any accepted shares yet. Not yet. So I'm going to pause the video, give it a few minutes, and let her come back. Alrighty, and we're back. And it finally updated at the seven minute mark. I just refreshed it before we started recording. Let me give her a refresh again. 155, 34 accepted shares, 51 and 39 are the temps. I did increase the fan speeds to 85% uh, just because, actually, I think I had the other ones at 100. Let's go into the other one. Yeah, I had the other ones at 100. I'm going to put these at 100 as well. because we do have some warmer temps in the area too um it's gonna be in in the 80s which isn't super super warm but for october it's pretty warm um in, in pennsylvania here so as you can see that was it that's all there is to it there's not much to do um just like updating the firmware of any other asic really just do it through the web gui and you're good to go um so i'm just gonna let this hatch for 24 hours hopefully this will help pay these guys off a little bit quicker because uh, you can see I've received 3,000 payout in the first one on Casper Pool, 4,000 in the second one. And I did have, oh, I know. Let's click on the address. Yeah, 5,400 have been paid out in this one already, plus the 4,000 on the other one. And I have 630 in that one. And I just received the, the re payout recently, for this, yesterday with this one. Um, so there slowly paying themselves off uh, not not as quick as they were when they first came out that's for sure i just wish i would have had the guts to jump on the first batch but it was risky uh, nobody ever heard of ice river and um, congrats to the people that took the chances and and dropped down to 1699 because even though they paid a lot more um, they also yielded a lot more um, than the, the late adopters so kudos to them so but I'm happy. Um, so far, the first one's been running super stable for over a day now. Um, I'm assuming the second one is gonna, going to as well. Uh, but time will tell, so we'll see how that goes. Give it another refresh. 
They'll show 155, 45 accepted shares. So yeah, overall I consider this a success. And thank you to those that uh, released the firmware updates for these guys. Um, much, much, much appreciate it. So, until the next video, I'm actually off the next couple of days, so I actually might have another um, another video coming out. The next one's going to be the September profitability. Um, it was still profitable, but. You can definitely tell there was a revenue dip and the crypto prices dropped and stuff. And uh, plus it also had something to do with what I was mining. Uh, some of the coins I was mining wasn't necessarily the most profitable to mine. Um, so that also hurt it. So the, but the profitability did take a substantial dip compared to August. Um, there's one less day plus some of those factors. But um, you'll have to subscribe to see that next video. And uh, which might be tomorrow or Wednesday. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what yet. But. Like I said earlier in the video, I was messing around with the intro and stuff, and um, that will be debuting in this video, so um, it's still a work in progress. Um, I'm still going to be tweaking some things, and I have some other ideas that I want to do, but um, for version 1.0, I don't think it's too, too bad. So, but we'll talk to you later. Take it easy.